Hi, I'm Ryan from Nerds on Call, and today we're going to be talking about setting up a wireless network. One of the reasons why you'd probably want to have a wireless network in your home is because of all the devices that can share the internet. For example, if you've got a tablet like an iPad or an iPod, or if you've got a, a smartphone or even a cable box these days, it needs to get on the internet. So setting up a wireless internet allows you to let all those devices shared at the same time without running cables all over the place. So one of the first things you want to look at is looking at buying a router. Now the routers range anywhere from 802.11n, 802.11g, 802.11b, and just all kinds of other weird numbers and letters. Well, reality is you don't need to buy the most expensive on the market, but you also don't want to buy the cheapest no-name brand either. Best thing to look for is a mid-range name brand router that you've heard of before, something like Linksys or Cisco or D-Link. In my company, we tend to use D-Link and we've had a lot of success with them. Since 2008, almost every computer comes with a wireless card already inside it, so you don't have to worry about buying extra hardware unless your computers are much older or you've got a desktop machine that may not have a wireless card. If you're going to be buying a wireless card, make sure you buy one that's the same as the manufacturer of your router, D-Link or Cisco or something like that. One of the last options you want to pay attention to when you're setting up your wireless network is making sure you choose a good wireless network name. Now, usually people will want to use their last name or something like that, but it's better to use something that's non-identifiable, like virus riddled network or stay away, something like that. And then you want to make sure that you password protect it. If you live in a community with a lot of homes and neighbors, you don't want everybody jumping on it and doing all kinds of weird stuff on your network. So you want to make sure you put a password on it. WPA encryption is usually the best. I'm Ryan from Nerds on Call. Thanks for watching.